your credit score should actually be called a debt score. Now let's dive into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Frank Talks Money. Thanks for tuning in. Let's dive right into the content, guys. Guys, your credit score should actually be called a debt score, and I'm gonna tell you why. I was inspired to make this video because I was at work the other day, and one of the other managers was bragging that they had an 800 credit score. So my comeback was, do you have any investments? They said no. I said, do you have an emergency fund? or any access to liquid cash? They said no. I said, so you're basically living paycheck to paycheck. They said, yeah. So I said, and you're, so you're actually proud of having an 800 credit score and your ass is broke. Wow. I said, maybe this is something I need to bring up on my channel. Guys, let me tell you something. Having a high credit score is not an indication that you are doing well financially. It's actually the opposite in my opinion because people are walking around bragging about having high credit scores and they're broke. People are walking around here with tons of debt. That's the indication. That should be the indication of your credit score. Your debt score, your credit score should actually be a debt score because that is what it is truly rating you on. Your ability to pay back debt. And I challenge anyone to tell me the opposite. A report of your credit score does not give an indication of how well you are actually doing with money, your overall finance. It basically gives you a score on your capabilities of paying back debt. Guys, if you're still here, show me some love. Hit that like button. I need this information to get out. Hit that like button, guys, if you're still here, I appreciate it. So guys, us in the middle class, this is what we do. Our goal is to get a good job. There's I mean, there's really no good jobs anymore because these good jobs will lay you off in a heartbeat and get rid of you in a heartbeat. So we can't depend on good jobs anymore. But us in the middle class, we wanna get, our goal is to get a good job and then build a house of cards on credit. We take out credit on every single thing that we possibly can, guys. We use credit cards. We take out car loans. We take out motorcycle loans. We take out boat loans. We take out loans for phones. We take out loans to put tires on our cars. We take out loans for clothing. We take out loans for jewelry. There is not a debt that the middle class does not take out loans for. But you wanna walk around and be proud about an 800 credit score when you're broke and living paycheck to paycheck. It absolutely makes no damn sense to me. None whatsoever. It makes none. So like I said, I challenge anybody to tell me different. Try to sway me differently. Because you can, I can sit here right now and apply for a credit card or a car loan right now and be approved in one and 60 seconds. They don't know how much money I have in the bank. They don't know if I got any retirement accounts. They don't know if I have an emergency fund. They don't know if I have investments. They don't know if I have any assets and then tell me I'm approved. I've seen people get a, get approved for credit guys that don't even have a damn job. Now tell me what sense does that make? Just because they're going by that three digit score. Again, that doesn't make any damn sense to me. It doesn't. It makes no sense to me, guys. The credit score should actually be called a debt score because that is what is rating you on. It's rating you on debt. Your ability to pay back debt. I don't even talk about my credit score and I have a high credit score. I don't even talk about it because it's not an indication of how well I am doing financially. Again, guys, show me some love. Hit that like button. Hit that like button, guys, if you're still here. I talk about having an emergency fund. I talk about how I have access to liquid savings. I talk about my brokerage account that has a nice sum of money in it. I talk about my retirement account that has a nice chunk of money in it. I talk about how when the Fed lowers these interest rates, how I'm about to buy um, a couple of rental properties. I don't walk around talking about my credit score because my credit score is not an indication of how well I am doing financially. It's not, again, it's a debt score. It rates you on how, on the probability that you would pay back debt. So tell me how much sense this makes, guys. Hypothetically, I'm gonna use myself as an example. Let's say I made 100 grand a year. Let's say I, um, let's say I'm going to a car lot. I make 100 grand a year. Let's say I got all these things I just talked about. An emergency fund, money in my money in my checking account, uh, money in my brokerage account, retirement account. I got assets, right? 
homeowner, I got assets. Let's just say I go take out a loan for a car. And they say, let's just say my credit score was 660. Just throwing that out there. That's not my real credit score. It's much higher, but I don't brag about it. Let's just say my credit score is 660. I can go to the car lot and they can say, you know what, Frank? You need a cosigner. What? I need a cosigner? What? Moi? Needs a cosigner? Are you serious? So I could have, be a homeowner, which I am, have pretty much no debt in, 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 in my case, have a brokerage account with a lot of money in it, have a retirement account with significant money in it, have an emergency fund. They can see all of this, but then tell moi, me, I need a cosigner. Are you shitting me? But here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. I can have a relative or a friend of mine come cosign for me. They can make about 50, 60 grand a year. They could cosign, come and cosign for me because they have an 800 credit score or a 750 credit score and be broke in debt to their eyeballs, but they could co-sign for me. Tell me what sense does that make, guys? Tell me what sense does that make? If I default, my co-signer can't even make the payments. They're broke. So I'm sorry, the whole credit scoring system is a sham to me. It needs to be completely overhauled because it is not an indication of how well someone is doing financially because in my opinion, it's quite the opposite. Someone can have a, a high credit score and be totally irresponsible financially, which 70% of Americans are. So I don't agree with the whole credit score system as a whole, guys. I know it's the game that we have to play, but you guys need to stop running around here bragging about a credit score when you're broke, okay? You're broke. Stop bragging about a credit score. Start saving some money and get your butts out of debt. I brag about having no car payments. I brag about being out of consumer debt. I brag about having an emergency fund. I brag about having a brokerage account. I brag about having a retirement account. I brag about having my financial life in order. That's the, what I brag about. I don't brag about, I don't brag about a credit score. I very rarely even talk about a credit score because I know it is not an indication of how, I, how well I am doing personally, financially. So stop bragging about a credit score and get your financial life in order. Thanks for tuning in. Frank Talks Money. I'm out.